this is the time we were supposed to be untying the dock lines for good. But with the constant struggle of getting our engine ship shape, we've been delayed. Now that the transmission's rebuilt, we're taking Red Aviva out as much as possible, enjoying the good life and testing her systems. You're coming too. What started as a dream is now our reality. Seven years ago, we poured her ballast, raised every frame, cut every plank, and named her Red Aviva. Ready for life back on the ocean, this year we're determined yeah. to set sail. Would you look at that? I'd say that's the making of a fine cruising vessel. <laughs> We're Salt and Tar, and this is our life. We're happy to share, and thanks for joining us. Today's river test is a family affair. It's been a while since my brother's been able to step aboard. That is gorgeous. His boy Stanley and girl Greta are here also to celebrate our mobility. Topping off the oil and uh, what somebody wrote in the comments, which I thought was really funny, uh, renamed the engine the Wester Leaky. <laughs> <laughs> Once he gets that done, we're gonna kick on the motor, warm it up, and we're moving the boat over to the launch ramp because we got our haul out today. But yeah, we're pretty stoked that the marina is able to haul us out because we talked to him like. I don't know, maybe like a month ago or something around March because that's when our annual haul out date is up each year and uh, they sort of chuckled when I asked when the next, when they're pretty sure that they'd have room for us and uh, they said August or September? <laughs> we're like, oh shoot, that's not going to work. So we weren't sure if we were actually going to be able to fit in a haul out here or not and then there's not too many do-it-yourself boat yards left in California and we're going south. So our haul out would have to wait till we get into Mexican waters, which would have been fine. Um, but it's kind of nice just to get it out of the way and yeah, make sure we got all this fresh bottom paint underneath, especially as we get into warmer waters. So we're really excited that they were able to find some room for us this weekend. So it's Friday. We're doing another quick weekend haul out, so we'll go back in Monday. Kick tires and light the fires. All right. Usually, what, 10 seconds? Yeah. Probably doesn't even need 10 seconds. Oh, I yeah. just. Habit. down at the end past that green boat where we're headed Well, 
this is our last tweet, so we'll just, we'll just post up here until we get here. She's moving. I don't know why it reverses, but it felt weird. Does it still feel weird? No, not on the dock. It seems like we're getting good <laughs> thrust. Maybe it was a current thing. Yeah. Look how cute she looks. <laughs> don't get to see her from this angle very often. Yeah, right? On the dock, 7.55. Ooh, hey, five minutes All to spare. Time, eight o'clock. <laughs> <laughs> Looks like they got some spots here in the yard. That last lane, this lane, are workspaces. The rest of all of this is storage. Until you get to the front part of the yard. And this is typically where they do shorter stays. This is more long-term projects, so they'll probably put us up there. It's funny when you're in a slip for so long, you don't kind of get used to seeing the boat from one angle. One, it's always the same side that I look at, and now we kind of get a nice 360 view. We're pretty excited. Even though they're not her real sail covers, still is nice to see sails on her spars. Yeah. Well, it's nice that it's pretty close to the color we chose for our canvas. Yeah, minus the staysail, which is a bed sheet. <laughs> you'll win some, you'll lose some. <laughs> this haul out feels like the closing of a chapter. Four years and a few scars earned here in Napa. We pull Red Aviva out for one final time. Paul looks great. All of the work we did last year to kind of get down to more of the bare wood to get this primer that we used. It's worse on the other side. There's not even a bit of space there in the planking. It looks really great. And then of course on the above the chine and where it's not always submerged underneath the water, we're getting a little bit of flaking. So that'll need a little bit more attention. But yeah, we're super happy to see what's under the water. No surprises. Yeah. <laughs>
I'm just starting in on the starboard side, scraping that upper rim there. And Garrett's getting started on the port side. Just kind of real quickly sand this front part here in the bow uh, where uh, the anchor scraped. <laughs> And then we're just gonna wipe it down and probably be able to get the first coats of red paint on. It's been super nice so far. Everything is in much better condition than we we were hoping, thinking, expecting, but uh, it's been like, like a quarter of the work that I thought it was gonna be so yeah. far. The bottom paint was in excellent condition. So just a really quick once over. Um, the only places that really need any attention are um, on the top sides or at the bow like on I mean this side is totally fine the starboard side where it's in the sun all the time it needs a little sanding probably back to the first chain plate but that's it the rest of it is totally fine just a quick wipe down with alcohol then we're good to paint so it's Friday <laughs> so we might have to think of other things to do on our haul out which is an awesome thing to experience <laughs> um, and we'll probably wait because we'll get some good sunny weather uh, tomorrow and the next day so we definitely don't want to paint the bottom until like Sunday so maybe we can get the name on the boat for the first time ever mm -hmm. going good believe it. <laughs> Garrett's wiping down the top sides with alcohol and we're gonna start painting the top sides. The bottom is sanded, the rim is scratched and all the loose stuff is taken off. I think after Garrett's done wiping it down we're gonna take an early beer break so that's pretty exciting. Here we are, day two, and we have Jim's help today. He's wiping down the bottom. We've got our first out of two gallons of bottom paint shaken, and that's the one that we'll cut with the paint thinner, the bottom paint thinner, and get the first couple coats with that thinned, and then we'll do the second can uh, full unthinned. And um, I'm gonna get started on the top sides right away. Garrett's gonna hit all of our steel, uh, underneath the waterline with some Osfo, just some of the paint chipped off, so we'll Osfo it and then it will get repainted. And um, yeah, we might finish all the painting today, so we'll see how it goes.
this is the thinner. Um, so we do our first coat thinned out so it can really kind of soak in. Um, more important, like on our last haul out when we kind of sanded closer down to bare wood, but since we got, we still have places that are, that we've sanded through that's bare wood, we like to thin it out so it really soaks in and then we'll do normal bottom paint over top of that. <laughs> You kind of do half and half? Well. Or just splash like that? When we, <laughs> like last time when when we used this as our primer on more or less bare wood, mm -hmm. um, I really, really thinned it out. But this time I'm not gonna thin it out that much. Really nukes and creenies. First coat on both the port and the starboard side are done. Well, I probably look like I've been wearing a respir respirator and painting the bottom of a boat. Um, so. <laughs> Don't mind that, but uh, yeah, we're making good progress. Uh, we got the whole first coat on the starboard side on the bottom, and Ruth, pretty much, we finished up with the starboard side. So top side paint is done on the starboard side, and just finishing up uh, on the port side. And uh, it's getting hard to. Uh know where I stopped. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And then once again, we're super lucky to have help on the bottom. This is Jim. We met him here at the marina. He's got a boat behind us and he is helping us with uh, everybody's favorite job, bottom paint. <laughs> he just did the bottom of the keel, which I'm stoked about. <laughs> He's coming out here to help us on the bottom when he just finished, uh, how long was your haul out? Two months. Two months doing the whole, taking the bottom down, doing the barrier coat and that whole nonsense. And he's already back here painting on bottom paint. He's so. new to boat life, give what, him time. What for punishment. <laughs> <laughs> nice. All right, well, I'm gonna get back to painting. the furious spoiler <laughs> yeah so fast so furious Fall ahead, boys. <laughs> <laughs> you're so sexy <laughs> oh, <he part -hole. laughs> he's making a break for it nope <laughs> nope i'm not doing it stanley where are you going <laughs> Oh, <laughs> <laughs>